Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cleaning Excel data series where we are getting a table and using a bunch of tips and tricks in Excel to make this clean and make it a whole lot more presentable. This lesson is lesson number three where we are going to use filters and free cells. And if you like what you see, please click the like button or subscribe to the channel and get the other tutorials in this series. So let's get started with lesson number three, using filters and freezing cells. Now these particular tips will help a table be a little bit easier to navigate through rather than just scrolling and trying to find what you need. This particular table has over a thousand rows of information. So the first thing I like to do is to add filters to this table and that will make it a lot more easy to navigate uh, the data and, and what you're trying to look for. So it's a very simple process by firstly deciding what columns you want to filter, highlighting the headings of those columns, going up to the ribbon, to the data pane, and finding the little filter icon. So with these filters, we can now easily navigate through our information for example, if we want to go to column G, we can select that filter and it will show all the unique data points within column G. Maybe for instance, we want to see all the lines that contain sedan. Click OK and it's now filtered that entire table to just the rows that contain sedan. Really handy tool, really easy to help navigate through data. The second part of the lesson is something called freezing cells. Now what this does is gives you the ability to keep the headings visible even when you're scrolling down the data. As you can see, if we scroll down now, the headings have disappeared, but it becomes really handy to keep those headings visible. So what we'll need to do is to go to the view tab. Within the ribbon you can see freeze panes. And the option that we have now is to freeze the top row, a very common option, that's where the headings usually are, so we'll do that. And now you can see this little line that goes across the top of the, the page. And now when we scroll down, the headings stay visible. It is also very common that sometimes you want to freeze more than just the top row. So we'll go through that process. The first step I'll do is just to unfreeze the pane that we have already put in by going back up to the ribbon, go to the freeze pane and unfreeze panes. So we're now back to where we started. We'll just insert a couple of rows just to show this example. And now we want to freeze from row number three. If we go back into freeze panes, freeze top row, it doesn't really make much sense to us. So we'll unfreeze that and we want to freeze from row number four and keep the headings. So you simply click on the row number four, go back up to the freeze panes and we'll go straight to the top one which is freeze panes not freeze top row. And now what that does is add the line in between column three and four or row three and four and it freezes a pane at that point. So another really handy trick, uh, it's, it's most useful for navigating through information and I hope you come back again and check out the other lessons and tutorials and again please subscribe to the channel.